I bought my Tesla Model 3 mid-range in December of 2018 to take advantage of the $7,500 tax credit before it was due to be cut in half to $3,750 in January. The Model 3 mid-range was Tesla's plan to lure in prospective buyers willing to take advantage of this tax incentive by offering the car at a lower price point but in turn offering a smaller battery pack. Initially, I felt that the Model 3 mid-range was a great value option, but I guess it's not as much the case now that the standard range plus is an option. The sole purpose behind the mid-range was to eliminate the need to redesign a battery pack like the current standard range Model 3 and bring in more cash flow to Tesla during the middle of the cash crunch. The EPA rated it at 260 miles of range and most mid-range drivers including myself saw a range over that at around 270 miles at 100% stated charge. A few months after the tax incentive was cut in half, Tesla discontinued the mid-range battery pack with its standard range Model 3 rated at 220 miles at the time. As of today, the standard range plus Model 3 gets an EPA rated 250 miles. You may ask, well, your car gets an EPA rated 260 miles while the standard range Model 3 Tesla at the time got an EPA rated 220 miles, meaning you can go an additional 40 miles, which is quite substantial for an electric vehicle. Yes, this is true. However, most mid-range owners like myself no longer get that rating of 260 miles. Reading over the hundreds of thread pages on this heated topic, I found that most mid-range owners at 100% state of charge is now at 241 miles, a loss of 19 miles or about 7%, all within the 10,000 to 18,000 mile odometer range. So what happened? Can we call this battery degradation at such an early odometer reading? I brought my Tesla mid-range to the service center recently and I was told, quote unquote, we have performed an analysis and testing on your high voltage battery with no concerning alerts or conditions found. The HV pack to be within 4% of the fleet average. Vehicle range estimates are an imperfect measure of actual capacity because they are affected by additional factors separate from battery capacity. The battery management system is adjusting the calculated range based on the driving, charging, firmware level, and environmental conditions. The vehicle will also adjust range estimation based on past behavior. Also, the service representative explained the miles displayed on the screen is only an estimated range. Sometimes the computer cannot accurately estimate how much energy the battery holds and might display an inaccurate range number. They suggested I put the car on energy mode and recalibrate the battery by running it down to 10% state of charge and then charging it back up to 90% over the next couple months. This is also known as rebalancing the battery. Truth be told, I did exactly what they said for about two months and the car still says 221 miles at 90%, slightly below the initial 234 at 90% state of charge. Full disclosure, during these two months, I never stopped at a supercharger and only plugged in on a standard level 2 charger at work or a level 1 charger at home in my garage. I've only charged my car to 100% a couple of times for a road trip and would regularly charge up to 90% when down in the 20% state of charge zone. And my driving efficiency is 96% at over 500 miles, according to Stats app. Reading more into the data of this, I found that ever since there was a software update back in mid-2019, I believe it was software version 2019.12, I saw the state of charge from my stats at fall immediately and not recover since. Again, with the Tesla service center telling me my battery is operating normally, this leads me to believe that the current software does not accurately read the correct estimated miles based on the size of the battery. With a limited quantity of mid-range vehicles that Tesla produced in only a few months, is it possible their new software updates are not accurately reflecting the mid-range vehicles? Are they leaving mid-range owners out of the loop? Either way you take it, the way I see it is I rarely, if ever, drive the full 221 miles in a single day. I just drive the car, I plug it in when I get to work every few days, I charge it to 90% and never have to worry about running out of power. 
I do, however, recommend changing the display to read energy rather than distance. It may take some time to acclimate to it, but just think of it as your cell phone showing the same percent energy theme. You can see here the difference in range projections by viewing the energy screen, which I find more accurately represents the projected range in miles rather than the main miles estimator range by the speedometer. The only problem is that you cannot set this projected range to be used on the main miles estimator by the speedometer. It sure can be hard to understand what your true range can be with several options to display the state of the battery. Hopefully Tesla will make this easy software fix by allowing Tesla owners to choose the projected miles in the main speedometer screen rather than having to open the large energy consumption screen. Overall from the articles and charts I have seen from other Tesla owners, true battery degradation hits hardest when you first buy the car and then it tapers off around 15,000 to 40,000 miles. According to Teslanomics, data from 2,636 Teslas show most retain above 90% battery capacity even after they have reached 100,000 miles. Now time will tell as more and more road trips are driven and more consumers join the Tesla family. When it comes to false mileage reading on my Tesla Model 3 mid-range, I say whatever. Drive it like you stole it, enjoy the software updates as it gets better over time, your battery is just fine. Plug it in when you get home. Just drive the car and enjoy life. What are your thoughts on this? If you own a mid-range, let me know what your state of charge is in the comments below. If you think I've earned it, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button to learn more about Tesla in the future. If you're looking at buying a Tesla, be sure to click my referral link down below for free supercharger miles. Until the next video, stay safe.